Good morning. Today's vlog, I wanted to film just an average, realistic day in my life um, on maternity leave with my eight month old. And it's already like gone wrong. Um, <laughs> I say average, but there is no average. This is the, this is the thing, every day is different. Um, but this morning she woke up at five, which really has thrown us completely off schedule. Um, on average, she wakes up between five and like gone seven. So, I mean, it's, it's quite difficult. I mean, normally she was for a while in a routine of waking up between six and half six. Um, but recently we've been doing a few things. So we've dropped naps. We've gone from three naps to two naps. Um, she did start sleeping through the night for a large portion recently and then that kind of meant she woke up a bit earlier um, and she's teething so there's like so many different things going on so it means the actual moment she wakes up is very variable at the moment um, but I tried to sort of keep things quiet I brought her in, in into our room and just thought oh I'll cuddle her for a bit like maybe keep it dark but she was having none of it she was like I am awake <laughs> um, and then we just tried to have breakfast and she fell asleep um, so I've just put her up for a nap and it's half seven now and normally I'd prefer her to nap about half eight nine but it's difficult because I don't know what to do if she wakes up at a different time I don't know whether I should try and normalize us to what I would like our routine to be or just go with it and be like oh well the whole routine is going to be an hour earlier than it normally is then you know and just go with the flow so we'll see I mean she started to get very ratty at breakfast so uh, I just thought it wasn't worth it, but I, I went and put her down, but we have been struggling with like every nap at the moment, every nap has been a battle, um, she was crying, I had to I have had to end up feeding her to sleep a lot recently, which she compl hasn't done for ages, like months, we, we really weaned her off feeding to sleep, and now it's like the only thing she wants, so I think it's like her teeth, or it could be a sleep progression thing that happens at various ages, so who knows, but she's asleep now that you can't really see it's just a big white blob but she's asleep now and i'm gonna rush and go and have a quick shower because you've got to take these opportunities where you can um yeah but welcome welcome to our day let's see how it goes we don't have many plans we have a swimming lesson in the afternoon but other than that just looking after a baby uh <laughs> so let's go Hi gorgeous. Hi. Did you have a nice nap? You're feeling better now. Oh, there she is. Here she is. Okay. We've had about an hour's nap. Just under an hour, I think. So that's very good. That was very needed, wasn't it? So we're gonna do breakfast uh mark two. Mark two? Breakfast take two. Go and get dressed. <coughs> Need a three trims you. Okay. What should we dress you on? Silly. 
you silly girl. Silly girl. So we didn't have very much breakfast, did we? Um, she did have a bit of a drink. So, I don't know now. I don't know what to do. Um, she woke up half eight. What I've been doing with the naps. Sorry, this is probably extremely boring. Just like the scheduling of an infant. It's like the only thing that's in my brain at the moment. But basically, <laughs> there's this idea that if you're doing two naps a day, you have like a two, three, four rule so you have when from her first waking up she should have two hours awake before the first nap then three hours awake before the second nap and then four hours before bedtime um it's oh sorry <laughs> um because she, oh, oh dear what happened? did you go on your finger a bit funny because she woke up so early though i don't really know what to do now because she woke up at half eight so three hours after that would be half eleven but then you know the trouble with these sleep rules or plans or whatever they are is that they don't guarantee how long the baby's going to sleep for like they will say things like your child should sleep for you know like two hours at this point but if they wake up like what can you do you can be like, i'm sorry you need to sleep for two hours that's what the rule says so um we shall see we have swimming as well this might end up being a bit of a three nap day because i think if we go down earlier she will not make it to bedtime um so we'll we'll see she's just had some milk and now we're gonna just play for a little bit this is the trouble with her being awake more and more it's really great not having loads of naps like when she was newborn it was like constant then it was four naps a day for a really long time it felt like and then three naps a day seems to have gone down to two reasonably quickly but now she's awake for like such a long period of time without any needs <laughs> so i'm like well i don't know how to fill our days now before it was just like feed change sleep feed change sleep and now it's like entertain me please mummy and um I'm not sure how we're gonna do that, but uh we'll play for a little bit, maybe we'll go for a walk or something like that. Oh they're kings of us here, We did go for a walk, we went for a quick one, but it was cut short because the Ocado man like just arrived like half an hour early. Um, so he called me and like, just, I was on our way back anyway really, but we sort of had to rush back and I was hoping Edith would go to sleep in the pram really. Um, and I was thinking, oh I'll just push her around, but it was sort of raining and she just didn't, she was just like interested in the thing. I don't know, she didn't fall asleep. So then we got home and I had to bring all the car, I think still haven't put it away, it's all down there. But, like. She was like grizzling and I thought, oh, it's only, it's nearly half 11 now. So I've just fed her and put her to sleep because I knew she was tired after her early start. But now like, you know, her naps and feeds and everything are all out of kilter. So I guess she'll sleep now and then have lunch afterwards and then we'll go to swimming and probably do a third nap in the afternoon. I'm guessing that's how our day's gonna go. Um, but just poor thing, she's been really off her food. She doesn't want to eat any food really. She just wants to have milk. Um, and I think it's because it's it's not it's a top two so she's got two bottom ones and then the next two that's supposed to come through are like these the top two front top two but it's not those two it's the two either side randomly are coming in so it's going to look a bit weird when they come down <laughs> like hmm. but yeah I think to be fair if my top teeth were coming through I wouldn't really want like a spoon coming towards me so she's just she's just kind of eating things that she can suck herself she doesn't really want to have a spoon and she just wants to have milk and because she never took a bottle I'm still breastfeeding which is just you know it is what it is so it's just a lot <laughs> as long as she's not feeding at night then it's not really I don't really mind during the day I'm with her all day anyway so she just wants some extra feeds because her teeth are coming through like fair enough you know 
So I don't know how much she's going to eat. I don't know how successful meal time is going to be, but that's all right. But it's just annoying because I got myself a little. I went to Greg's, got myself a little latte. It's not actually very nice. It's a spite. It's salted caramel latte. I don't really like it. And a little sausage roll. Um, so I put the shopping away and eat that. Well, and then got a few jobs to do that I was going to do while she was sleeping. The first was I was just going to do some washing. Like there's a few things that need hand washing, like a couple of jumpers I've got, and then also some of her toys that can't go in the washing machine. Um, and I feel really bad because they've been in the wash, like the washing basket for ages, and she really likes them. And I'm like, oh, I need to need to give them a little wash. So I might do that if she sleeps uh, long enough. Um, we'll see. It's all like whiz 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 round now. <laughs> I'm just, oh, I better go get the monitor. sounds really stupid but I literally cannot wait to do this. It's like one of those jobs I've been meaning to do for ages. It's just everything's just been sitting there like waiting to be cleaned and I'm just like yes I can do it. So I glance over there they're having a little soap and then I've got her little toys that need to go in. This is her little mouse rattle um, that my mum bought her which is called Pip the Mouse so that needs to go in. And then I feel a bit sad cleaning some of these because they're so soft and lovely. And um, this is her day, which is her first toy that I bought her. It's from the Lake District, little sheep. And um, she's so soft and lovely and she loves her day. I feel really sad that um, I haven't washed her for ages. So she's probably gonna go all bobbly now, but this is like proof of what she used to look like before she got before she got washed. So have a little bath. <laughs> and then there's some other little toys I wanted to wash that um, Will's auntie brought down. These um, used to belong to his sister Alice. And they're really, really cute. This one's the best. Will's family have got so many toys. Like I cannot believe, there were three of them. Um, but they've kept everything, which is amazing. Like it's amazing the amount of toys that his mum's got at her house. And then also at his aunt's house. Um, like we have some toys, but I don't think my mum kept all of ours. Like my mum has since gone to charity shops and bought loads of toys. So we have like so, <laughs> so many toys for her, it's ridiculous. But it's so sweet having like hand-me-downs because it's you know means something once they've been through the family. So they're all gonna have their little bath now. I'm gonna leave them to soak for a little bit and um, see what happens. Oh, don't they look happy? Heidi looks all happy there. Like she's having a day at the spa. That's one of the things we've asked for her for Christmas is a toy box. She's got a bookcase on order, which is very exciting. And we just need to work out how we're gonna rearrange all the storage in her room because she's still got her changing table, which is too high. Like she definitely is gonna just jump off it. Like I need to get rid of the changing table now um, and put it somewhere else. What is happening? Oh my goodness. It sounds like it's like in my house. Brilliant, like the builders next door have just woken her up. <laughs> Oh, that was so loud. Oh, baby, she needs to go back to sleep. Be fair, how long has she had? Oh. Mm. About 20 minutes. Oh, listen to her. Okay, I'll go get her. Anyway, long story short, toy box is expensive. We've asked for it for Christmas, just for down here. She got so many toys out. And I just think, like, she can't focus on them. There's just too many. So we're going to get a toy box for Christmas and then storage for her room for, like, other toys. Oh! <laughs> We're gonna try some lunch, aren't we? Yes. I mean, whether she will eat, I don't know, because she's got a little melty, melty puff stick. It's a bit like a what's it, but like made out of vegetables. And she's not eating it. Oh, you're gonna prove me wrong now. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how she's feeling really, but I've defrosted some pasta that I made for her, which is like her fave. She loves tomato pasta. Well, there's this recipe that I've got in an Ella's Kitchen book, and it's like fish rice and tomatoes and like beans and she loves my favorite absolutely loves it like tomato and fishy things she seems to enjoy so i'm gonna try and see if this will entice her it's just some orzo with like um, a tomato sauce but i need to give that a little bit longer i think um but i'm not sure i'm not sure i know we're hungry but i don't know if we want to actually eat anything poor little toothies so we'll see oh, it's a big portion Hello. I'm going to get some water in it, don't worry, I'm going to cool it down. I am so relieved, she had just eaten all of that, that whole pot, so that's that's really good and that, that was a big portion as well um, and she ate it really well, didn't you? Look at you with your little tomato face.
<laughs> so hopefully that's good for now. That's going to satisfy her a little bit because uh, she has just been really hungry, I think. She's been going for milk a lot today. Uh, so that was a nice lunch, wasn't it? And she had a good amount of juice as well. Um, I just give her like apple juice or orange juice, like watered down. So that's what she has in there. And um, I don't know if we want to try a yogurt as well. Should we see if you have a yogurt? She's eating. It's like literally, there's just bits left, crumbs. She's eating a lot, so maybe maybe we'll have a go and then get ready for swimming. I guess it's just never it's never stops. It's just a constant clock. Of like, what do we need to do next? Um, I'm gonna go get her changed and get her ready now um, and fingers crossed I can get her in her swim nappy and swimming costume under her clothes and she won't do anything in her swim nappy before we get to the swimming pool which has happened many times um, and I've had to redo her nappy once we got there. Um, I'm obviously not gonna vlog swimming because one I can't vlog in, in there anyway but um, it <laughs> it's such a stress I cannot have the added stress of cameras but we're gonna go now, aren't we? And uh, report back. Just an aside though, how cute is the little sewing costume? Edith, look at you, we're back. <laughs> oh, she actually had a great time, I think. It's hard to tell, but she was like, ah, when we first got in the pool. But there were some of our friends there as well, so. Hey. She saw some other babies last week, it was just us. And, um, you know, because people miss things all the time, because having a baby is quite hard. Um, so often, <laughs> people just don't come to classes. So it was really nice, all the babies were going, ah! Because <laughs> they were seeing each other. <gasps> oh, what's wrong? Oh, yes. so we just had a meltdown, so we're <laughs> having some more milkies. Um, I also realised I haven't had any lunch. I've just had like bits and bobs. Um, this always happens when I take a swimming because I feel like I need to do her lunch and then I almost like immediately need to go. So I've made myself some noodles. It is obscene the amount of noodles I have done. I absolutely do not need that, mu that much, but this is what happens, isn't it? Like you don't eat lunch and then you're like, I'm starving now. Oh my goodness. And also I forgot to say, like when I was getting ready for swimming, I forgot to tie my hair up. So I was like on the way to swimming, like, Oh my goodness. And um, the woman behind the counter gave me an elastic band to, <laughs> uh, from the office for me to put my hair up. So that's what I have at the moment. So yeah, we're very, we're just winging it at the moment. I mean, oh my goodness. Do you know what? It's basically dinner time. It's 20 past four now. I don't know how time went so quickly. Oh, that was a bad idea. I should have just done a dinner. To be fair, she is probably quite thirsty as well from like swimming and everything. I just won't give her milk afterwards like I normally do. So I'll we'll have some milk now. I'll have my noodles and then she'll have a bit of a later dinner. Like, I want to say it's no big deal, but like <laughs> routine is a big deal because it's, you know, it's difficult with babies. You want to be like chill, but actually, you know, if she's all out of routine, then bedtime might be a little bit of a nightmare, but we'll see how we go. Oh my gosh, all their meals just last so long. So much of my day is spent feeding her or preparing food or clearing up after she's eaten. But, uh, ooh, I know. She's got such like red cheeks so that you can't really see from here, but her poor teeth, like, I think it's like a teething rash, her poor little teeth. So hopefully we will have, I've got some nice mashed up veg that I did, I cooked um, before I put it in the freezer, so I'm just defrosting that. And also Will's gonna, he just texted me saying he's gonna come home in time to be far from bed, so that is. Excellent news. Who ate all her dinner? Who ate all her dinner? So we can just go and play now, can't we wait for daddy to come back and do your bath? Oh, and then, and then is the end. <laughs> then I can make our dinner. Yay, because the fun never stops. Is this coming through? Ooh, who does that sound like? Yes. Dry. 
So Will has got a bath time uh, has occurred. Bedtime is in progress. So technically, as long as she goes down okay, I'm off the clock now. Um, and it's six, six o'clock, just five past six. I'm absolutely shattered. My back particularly is killing me. It's gone since so much time lifting her and carrying things around and you know I know you're supposed to lift things in a proper way but because she's a baby like she has to be I can't just like hold her how it's convenient to me do you know what I mean so it's like um there's an ideal way I could lift her but I I couldn't do that it wouldn't be very comfortable for her so it just hurts my back all the time anyway that was a side note I am gonna start dinner now but I'm probably gonna end the vlog here because I'm honestly just like oh zonked um I'm wondering if you'd want an update on how she goes down to bed. Probably not, to be honest. <laughs> Don't know how interested you are. Fingers crossed she goes down okay. She's been alright today-ish. I don't know. It never, it's never clear how she's going to be. I don't know if this was interesting. Probably not. But sometimes just normal daily life stuff can be kind of relaxing. Bit of an insight if you don't have a baby as the host. It's to the monotony, <laughs> monotony <laughs> of the days. Um, but yeah. There you go. So I will see you next time. Bye.